another Animal Crossing video. I'm Crossing Chill, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to unlock the roost in Animal Crossing New Horizons and also meet Brewster. Once you've updated your game to the 2.0 version, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the museum. In here you'll actually see Blabbers and he'll be thinking about something. Start up a conversation with him and he'll let you know that he wants to expand the museum by opening up a cafe, and that in order to do so he needs help from his friend Brewster. However, Brewster currently can't be found, so Blavis needs your help in order to find him. From here, you'll need to head on to a mystery island via Kappen, who will also appear once you update your game to the 2.0 update. Provided that you've talked to Blavis first, Kappen should take you to the very first island which will have Brewster in it. Brewster will be wearing some different vacation gear, and he'll let you know about his favourite thing ever, which are gyroids. In fact, he'll even give you a gyroid fragment. All it takes is for you to just talk to Brewster, and he will decide to come to your island the next day. Make sure that once you're done talking to Brewster, and you've headed back to your own island, that you go straight back to the museum and you talk to Blavers. He will congratulate you on your success in finding Brewster, and that he will mention that the museum will be closed the next day for renovations. Once you've passed these days and the museum is finally open again, you'll be able to head into the roost and finally enjoy a coffee with your great friend Brewster. All in all, this is pretty simple, and out of it you can also get a photo of Brewster as well from Blavers, which is pretty cool. As mentioned, Brewster will give you a gyroid fragment, but you don't actually need to plant and grow this in order to unlock the cafe. All it really takes is meeting Brewster on one of these islands, talking to him, and then after a few days, the museum cafe will actually open. So it's all fairly straightforward. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I have to say a big thanks to my friend Dean for helping me get this footage. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and don't forget to turn on channel notifications and subscribe for all the 2.0 Animal Crossing New Horizons content that you'll need. If you found this helpful, be sure to share it and also comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you made it all the way through. It's no secret that there's a lot to do in the latest update to Animal Crossing New Horizons. From new islands to explore to customizable furniture, Nintendo has shown off a lot of what's in New Horizons 2.0. But there's a ton of content and gameplay changes that they kept quiet about too. Here are 20 things that Animal Crossing's 2.0 update doesn't tell you. First up, one of our favorite new things. You can now store DIY recipes in your storage. Yes, that's right, no more filling up your basement with duplicate DIY recipes you've been planning on giving to visitors. When you're in your house, simply click on a DIY recipe in your inventory, and then select Put in Storage. You can also do the same at your storage sheds, though to unlock them you'll need to upgrade your house storage to the max. We've known cooking was coming to New Horizons for a while, but you might be missing some important info when it comes to what to cook. You can find culinary recipes all over the place. Bottle messages can now contain cooking recipes in addition to DIY blueprints, including ones on both your home island and the new Kappen Islands. You can also learn new recipes if you visit a villager
It's worth noting that you can stretch in single or multiplayer, but visiting friends can join in the group stretching only if they are labelled as best friends, and the resident of the island needs to be the one to begin the activity. Cyrus can customise so many leaf items, including stuff you'd normally have to use a kit for. It still costs the same bells, but may be more convenient for players who don't want to deal with the hassle of customisation kits. Cyrus also has some exclusive weathered textures, like the mossy look for the creepy skeleton above. These textures are impossible to get when you buy an item from Nook's Cranny, so if you're looking for that I left it outside for a month look, try giving it to Cyrus and see what he can do for you. Isabel will now announce when you have a plaza visitor, like Sahara or Leaf. It's a handy reminder to find them on your island and pay them a visit before you sell your bugs or fish for less at Nook's Cranny. Speaking of visitors, while visiting friends won't be able to access the resident's storage locker, they can make use of the automated bell dispenser